this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, as well as Esther, I am going to be joined by Liebeg! Good <laughs> morning, Liebeg! I think that's my favourite way you exit the painting. I always enjoy it when you do the bouncy face thing. <laughs> anyway, I am not only going to be joined by Liebeg, I am also going to be joined by another guest who has never been in my lovely world before, and that is Wizard Keen! Hello, Wizard Keen! Of course, uh, carrying some mushroom stew, of course. What did I expect? Tell you what, you can have the, uh, the mushroom stew for breakfast breakfast and I'm going to have a, a cake for breakfast in a, in a little bit. We can all eat what we want. <laughs> and I'm also going to be joined by Squishy! Squishy, are you, are you, are you going to fly? Did, did she fly? I think she flew. I think she just flew into the sky. And, oh no, she just hasn't hasn't done it yet. Don't be scared, Squishy. Don't be scared. Come on, flap your wings really fast. Believe that you can fly! Oh, okay. But well, at least you had a, a soft landing. At least you landed on the, the cake. Speaking of cake, Lee Bear, I am I'm feeling rather peckish today. I wouldn't mind uh, having a little bit of a, a little bit of a cake for breakfast. <gasps> Ah, thank you very much, Lee. Right then, we need to we need to to head off. We have a, a lot to to do today. We are going to be building uh, something that's pretty big. We're going to be uh, starting a project, uh, building a brand new mini game in my fun land, which is always my favourite thing to build. Uh, but of course, uh, first things first, I need to to add someone to my love garden. And today, I'm adding Millie Ifty, and that is because uh, she sent me this picture of a totem pole that she made, and it was a uh, part of a, a school project. And you can see that there's a, a villager, uh, there's a Lee Bear, me, and Squishy, uh, all on a, a totem pole. And I think the drawings are amazing and uh, doing it in that style was really cool. So I wanted to say thank you very much for making it and sending me the picture and uh, welcome to my love garden. Right then, we're now going to be very quick and uh, we're going to go and choose a, a dog to join us and then we're going to be heading back this way and uh, we're going to be going to the animal farm and uh, there's a reason for that which I'm going to explain in just one second. But first things first, uh, let's go to the, the dog house. Uh, it's kind of nice not racing anymore. It's kind of nice <laughs> just uh, to not panic and just uh, leisurely walk to my dog house. And let's have uh, uh, Corey. Uh, you can join us today because why not I love you very much uh, so you can be uh, joining us and uh, be careful going through the farm please right let's uh, tell you what let's while we're here I uh, go and grab uh, one or two pork chops just because uh, yeah dogs and uh, cactus farms uh, normally don't mix very well so let's go and uh, grab uh, a few pork uh, chops uh, just in case there there is a little bit of an accident on our way I'm sure you'll be safe Corey I just know you get very curious and uh, you might get very curious about the the prickly bits on the cactus and get a little bit too close so uh, let's see if uh, Corey's gonna behave and uh, stay away away from them. I don't even know where it is. Okay, that's it. Follow me, Corey. Follow me. Good boy. Good boy. Right then. Uh, the reason we're going back to the, the animal farm is because me and Lee Bear are about to have a race. Uh, in the, the minigame, uh, we need pigs. And uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. Corey, don't be curious about the fire. No, no. Sit down, please. Sit down, Corey. Sit down. Come over here. Come over here. Right. Please be safe during this. <laughs> yeah, in this minigame, uh, we need pigs, uh, which means we need to get pigs over to the, the fun land. And uh, instead of just uh, walking them over there, I thought we could have a, a little bit of a, a race. So uh, here's a, a saddle for you, Lee Bear. I'm going to let you uh, pick a pig. Uh, pick a pig. And uh, then uh, you can go and uh, take that pig. And uh, we're going to go and uh, try and race uh, over to the... Um uh, to the, uh, yeah, to the, the fun land. Uh, and tell you what, we're building next to the, the mole hole game. Uh, so we say the first person inside, uh, the mole hole game will be the winner. Which pig shall I go for? Hmm. Well, this one's looking at me. Let's go for, let's go for this one then. Uh, I got my carrot on a, on a stick. And, uh, I'll tell you when to, to begin the, the race. Lee, I want to try and make sure Corey stands up uh, and stays away from the, the fire as well. Tell you what, let's go somewhere a little bit safer. And, and then we can go and start the race. Let's go up to the, uh, the farm maybe. Right, let's, uh, try and get out of here and try and shut the pen before the other other pigs escape. Uh, nope, okay, I guess those pigs can wander. Corey, you can stand up, and Lee, we can begin the race in three, two, one, go, 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 go. So it's just going to be the first person uh, into the uh, the molehole game, but we can get there in whatever route we want. I'm going to go around this way, actually. I think it's going to be difficult uh, to go through my farm or through my house, uh, so I think I'm going to go this way. I think it's uh, a longer route, uh, but I think there's less obstacles this way. If I go and head around this way, and uh, is Lee Bear following me, or has he gone a, a different way? Oh, looks like, oh no, he is following me. Okay, Lee Bear's followed my strategy. Oh, there's actually water here. Uh, I don't know how good pigs are at swimming, so let's go and try and avoid the, the water. Uh, go around the edge and whoa! I am picking up some speed now. I think I got uh, one of the uh, the fastest pigs, which is uh, uh, is pretty handy. All right, let's go uh, uh, around this way, I think. Uh, then I can go up uh, here. Go on, jump up, pig. And then um, I guess if we go across, you know there's that load of ice. Uh, if we can go across the, the ice, I think that might be the, the fastest way over there rather than going the uh, uh, the long way. And come on, you're going so fast a second ago, pig. <laughs> it's weird, like the pig 
snakes have sudden bursts of speed and then they suddenly seem to get a little bit bored of going fast and then they start going really slow again. Here we go. I think we're uh, uh, picking up the, the pace a little bit. And where's Lee? Oh, he is. He's right behind me. It's definitely uh, a pretty close race. It's going to be all uh, down to this uh, this final stretch. So uh, is there a way we can get across here without needing to, to swim? I guess if I go further down this way, I wonder if, um, if pigs go faster on the, the ice. I don't know whether they're going to be uh, quicker or whether they're just gonna slide all over the place and go even slower but I guess we're uh, we guess we're about to see let's try and uh, go very carefully down here pig there we go and uh, there we go we can now go across the ice he doesn't seem to be going much uh, faster or slower but Lee bear uh, was really catching up then uh, we were pretty much neck and neck and uh, we're getting pretty close uh, to the uh, the finish line the uh, the mole hole game uh, is kind of just uh, you see the the cooking pot uh, it's just behind that cooking pot that's ahead of us so uh, we need to be really fast but oh no oh no Lee bears overtook me I was in the lead this entire Entire time and now we're getting right to the end. Lee Bear overtook me. All uh, right, I'm gonna try a new carrot. I think that carrot had got a little bit rotten. Let's try a fresh carrot and just see if that's gonna work. Come on, pig! Quickly, quickly! There we go. Now I'm getting some speed. Hopefully, uh, his pig's gonna slow down now and I can overtake him. Oh, I think it has. His pig slowed down and I'm going quicker. This is gonna be so close. Come on, a little bit further, a little bit further. It's gonna go inside of the game. There's a little opening there. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Can I do it? Can I get in before him? And oh no, he just won. <laughs> that was so close though. I was in the lead the entire game uh, but he was just about to win anyway we don't actually need the pigs in here uh, did he drive it did you get the pig inside of there that's a good idea actually because we needed uh, to make a, a pig pen uh, parking them inside of here is a good idea let's try to not fall down any of these holes can we just go up the uh, the ladder here then oh we can oh this is an amazing idea well done Lee good idea <laughs> there we go we've um we've uh, parked our pigs nicely down there uh, we can save them there for now uh, we'll need them later on uh, but first things first uh, we need to go and build the the game and I realized I was so excited about the race I didn't actually explain what the the game is and the game is going to be like pong but it's going going to be piggy pong so uh, I think the the first thing to do is uh, to build the outside walls and as you can see uh, by everything in my inventory everything's going to be black and white wall and that's because uh, when pong came out there weren't uh, yeah it wasn't in color so everything's going to be black and white uh, just like the uh, the original pong so first things first I need to build the the walls and this one is going to be 41 blocks long so I might as well do it like I normally do and uh, see if I can do it in one breath ready steady go <gasps> one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. Is that right? Um, can someone please double check? I don't know if I did it slightly, uh, uh slightly too far. If someone wants to, to check it and then just make sure it's 41 blocks long. And then this side uh, only needs to be, uh, 11. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, that was a little bit easier. And then, uh, let's double check by going uh, another 40, uh, 41 the other way. So that's 1. And so we can start here with 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh no, I ran out of wool! I ran out of wool! <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to have to judge it from my Minecraft helpers. I should have done the, the smart thing and only had uh, 40 blocks in my inventory and then just placed them down. Well, 41, sorry, right. It uh, looks like they're uh, uh, they're still counting to double check because I was doing rubbish. <laughs> uh, but while they're doing that, I might as well uh, go and start building up these uh, these walls. So I should probably also explain uh, how this uh, this game uh, is going to, to work. And the, the idea is, okay, so you're going to get inside of a pig... Yeah, on a saddle, which is in a minecart. So you put a saddle on a pig, okay, and then you get on the pig, which is in the minecart. And then when you do that, you can actually control where the minecart goes. And uh, you do that by pushing forward. And so say if I'm uh, in the, the minecart facing this way and I push forward, I go backwards, okay? Then if I turn around and push forward again, I go backwards again in the, the other direction. And so basically you're going to be kind of like the uh, the pong paddles uh, in these, uh, whoa, I fell down a hole, <laughs> in, these, um, uh, in these pigs. And then in between... Uh, there's going to, to be a, another minecart which is going to be going back and forth uh, between the, the two sides. Uh, but when the uh, uh, the minecart gets to the middle of the area, it's basically going to be jumbled up. There's going to be a load of minecart rails that are going to be keep uh, continually switching directions, uh, which is going to uh, to jumble up uh, the uh, the pig and uh, make it go off in uh, in random directions. Okay, so that's kind of how the uh, the game's going to to, to work. And uh, yeah, I hope I hope that makes sense. So it's basically a, a reaction game. So basically, as the pig's flying towards you, uh, you need to put your minecart in front uh, in front of it uh, to to block it uh, and then that way uh, it's going to uh, yeah it's going to, to go and get pushed back to the other person's side and then every time uh, someone misses the the pig uh, that's going to be a, a point for for you uh, just like uh, just like real pong so uh, what I'm doing right now 
is uh, basically doing the outside walls and I'm doing these kind of, oh hello Corey <laughs> sitting on the, the wall, uh, yeah so the reason I'm doing it like this is uh, the uh, original Pong game actually kind of, the line in the middle was kind of like this, kind of like this uh, uh, these stripes and uh, so I'm trying to do it all uh, in a, a very similar style so uh, if my Minecraft help is, do you want to carry on doing these uh, these walls uh, so if you just uh, continue this pattern and then build uh, one block on the, the top, uh, I'm going to start uh, building the uh, the actual play field uh, which is going to be in the, the bottom down here so uh, on each side uh, is going to be uh, where you have to go back and forth and there's also going to be note blocks under the, the floor uh, so as you kind of slide around it plays a little tune which is just going to be quite cool so uh, along here is going to be where you go back and forth so uh, there's going to be white wall uh, for wherever the uh, wherever the minecart can go and then black wall uh, for wherever it, uh, it can't go so these are basically marking the the tracks because uh, it'd be good if the the minecart could go everywhere uh, but yeah but that just wouldn't really work with the the game so it's either going to go exactly in the the middle uh, or against uh, either of these uh, two walls. And so when it's against the walls, it's going to be quite easy because you can just push your minecart right up against the wall. But in the middle, because your minecart's moving, you need to time it so you block the uh, the minecart as it's going past. So that's always going to be uh, when it's uh, going to, to be most difficult. So uh, these trails are going to go all the way from one side to the, the other. Uh, but then again, as I said, uh, in the, the very middle, it's all going to get a, a little bit jumbled up. That's where there's going to be continually switching minecart tracks, uh, which is going to make the, uh, the minecart uh, go in a, a completely a random direction so it's going to be a little bit crazy and I mean completely random in the fact that you can knock the minecart away and it could get switched around and then come straight back to you so <laughs> yeah you need to, to have a, a very good uh, reaction timer in order to, to do well at this game so uh, I now need a, another trail going to the, the middle here and then I'm going to add the bit where it's all going to be jumbled up and then uh, in between all of these gaps uh, I just need to, to go and uh, add down some uh, some black wall because uh, that's going to, to mark all of those areas uh, yeah so uh, let's go and break this away and uh, let's add my my jumbled up area so we need the exact middle does this look like the middle here so we got one two three on that side one two three yep uh, this is the the exact middle here uh, which means if I just do uh, a few rows uh, going down here like this and uh, going down here on the the other side as well uh, basically uh, it could get switched to any of these points so I'm actually going to add uh, some more down here so basically there's going to be a minecart track uh, going around all of here and then all of these corner bits uh, the track is going to be continually uh, switching uh, which is going to be the thing that jumbles it up uh, but it has just about become night time so it would probably uh, be a good idea to, to have a little bit of a, a nap are there any beds nearby uh, I don't think there are but it doesn't matter I can go and make some new beds and oh look I have not made a crafting table all episode I think that's a, a record <laughs> uh, for uh, uh, not making a, a crafting table uh, in such a, a short amount of time so let's go and uh, throw down a, a bunch of these beds one two uh, looks like Squishy made one as well four and then if we all have a, a quick sleep uh, then that means there's going to be less chance of googlies coming to, to blow us up so it's uh, down here at the, the back guys Lee Bear uh, do you want to come out here and we can have a, a quick nap and then yeah hopefully in the, the morning uh, we can finish off the, the rest of the game and sorry Squishy um you seem to have a dog sleeping on your face um at least you got the face end of the dog on your side I got the other end <laughs> right then let's go and try and uh, finish off the the rest of this game so uh, yeah it looks like my Minecraft helpers are, are busy filling in uh, all of these middle bits uh, so what I'm gonna do and I'm going to add uh, some big signs on each side uh, to say which player you are. Uh, so it's going to be basically player one uh, or player two. Uh, so I'm going to build a, a big sign above the uh, the door here uh, just to, to say uh, which player they are. So I think this side can be, this can be player one. And so what I'm going to do... So I'm going to climb up here and I'm going to make a big white one here and then just fill it all in with black walls. So if I kind of go along like this and then I'll go up, uh, I'll go up five. I'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then I do, I do a little bit out here like this. And then if I fill all of this in with a uh, black wall, uh, it should kind of look like a, a big sign because of course uh, it wasn't in color. You couldn't have like the red and blue team. It would all be just uh, player one or, or player two. So let's go and uh, try and fill in the, the rest of this wall here. I think I need uh, to pile up here as well. And, oh, good job, Lee Bear. Lee Bear's trying to, to put some of the, uh, uh, the the tracks in. I think the uh, the next challenge after this uh, is going to, to be trying to, to get the uh, the pigs uh, into the, the mine carts, which uh, might be a little bit difficult, but <laughs> I'm sure that we're going to be able to do it. So there we go. There's the big one. Oh, that's not good. That's not how that's supposed to be I need to fill in more uh, in this side as well then of course on the other side uh, there's going to be the uh, the enormous number number two so let's go and uh, fill this in here like this and then I can go down and uh, check this out see if it uh, if it looks good and uh, there we go I think that is uh, looking pretty cool so now on this side uh, we need to do the exact same uh, but with a big number two so we also need uh, uh, to add a, a little doorway down here uh, so I'm going to go and break away a little bit of wool here and then I can go and pile up and uh, now we need to try and do a, a two so this is a little bit more uh, complicated I think if I go uh, basically along like this 
And then if I go uh, up a bit and then go back this way and then go up again and then back this way, uh, hopefully I've made a two. I sometimes accidentally make a five instead of a two, but there we go. I think that looks good. So that looks like a two from this side. I mean, if I look at it from the other side, it looks like a, a five, doesn't it? <laughs> right then, let's just go and uh, fill in all of the uh, the the bits in the in the middle like this. I think I need uh, to pile up again so I can do uh, the uh, the bits on the the top. If I go and uh, pile my way up to the the top like this, and then the next thing to do is to try and get the the pigs in, and then we can have ourselves a, a little bit of a, a practice go. Uh, of course, it's not going to be working yet. Uh, I need to, to add in a little bit of a redstone uh, just to make it so it keeps switching, and I want to add in the, the note blocks as well. Uh, but there should be uh, enough uh, for us to get a, a little bit of a, an idea uh, of how the uh, the game is uh, is going to work, or at least uh, how to to control the the pigs. Uh, right then, uh, let's see if we actually got any chance of getting the the pigs inside and into a, a minecart. Oh, the pigs have escaped! The pigs have escaped! Look how ferociously they're charging around the pen. <laughs> oh dear, they they seem to be very docile pigs. Certainly, my one was when I was trying to race on it. Right, let's try and be very careful uh, not to make it fall into to one of these holes and uh, try and get it over uh, to the uh, the ping pong game. Uh, it's going very, very slowly now. Let's go around the, the corner here. And so basically, you need to get a minecart and uh, push the minecart basically through the pig. <laughs> and uh, then, yeah, the pig just kind of jumps in and then we can kind of drive it around the area. Let's just go and basically drive it around and just see uh, if it's fun. There we go. Uh, we managed to, to get it inside. Uh, I need to go now. I'm going to run back over to my crafting table. Look at me being good, uh, rather than making a, a new one. Uh, and then that way, I can go and make myself a, a minecart. I may make uh, some more rails as well, uh, as well, because I think a few of them were missing. So let's go and make a, a few more rails, and then I need uh, to make two minecarts uh, for the, the two pigs, uh, because basically all of the uh, the track uh, needs to be where the, the white wall is. So uh, this kind of all needs to, to be linked up, and you'll kind of get a, an idea of how crazy it's going to be. So if I go and uh, fill all of this in here like this, uh, you see it kind of all goes a little bit messed up, uh, but once we have the redstone underneath, uh, any of these corner bits, uh, the track is going to be continually switching, so it could go like this way, then this way, then this way, and then this way, and this way, it could go basically all over the place. <laughs> right then, uh, let's see if I can get a, a pig in. This pig's uh, nicely standing on the, the track uh, where it needs to be, as if I place that down and just push it, hopefully, there we go! I got it, I got it inside the minecart, and it is off, and it is off. <laughs> let's go and uh, jump in, and uh, Lee Bear, if I go and throw you this other minecart, see if you can get the, the other pig in. Uh, so as you can see, I'm kind of just sliding around in the pig but if I push in a direction look at this I can control it and I can say go back uh, this way now I can basically uh, choose uh, which uh, direction uh, I go in and kind of try and guide it. Uh, I'm not guiding it very well, and Lee Bear's just pushing me at the moment. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Look, I can kind of switch it. You can see I can go this way, and then uh, you kind of build up quite a lot of momentum, but you can see you can kind of change the, the direction. And you don't need a, a carrot on a stick or anything. You can just guide it around. So uh, the way it's going to work, let me just try and uh, sort out these uh, these tracks quickly, uh, because these should not be linked up. So uh, the way to, to sort this out uh, so they don't automatically link up is to, if, to break away this, and then break away that track there. Then if I put this here and then that there and then break this one uh, you see that there's a corner uh, but they're not actually linked up uh, so that means uh, basically you can only go back and forth in this area here so let's try and keep the the pig where it is and if I go and break away this sorry I know I shouldn't have used a pickaxe <laughs> and then if I go and place this here and then that there and then once again bro go and break uh, away this one uh, you'll see and that this pig is going to be only going uh, back and forth in this one area here and won't go anywhere else. But if a minecart uh, was to, to come uh, to here, it would actually join up in the uh, on this track, and uh, then that would be uh, how you know uh, that you ever uh, have lost the game. So there we go. I think uh, everything's uh, set up for the, the next episode, uh, where we can do all of the, uh, the finishing touches, uh, and then we can have ourselves a pig pong tournament. And I just love going back and forth like this. You can see how fast you can go and uh, switch between each side. And hello, Lee, do you want to come and join me on my track? <laughs> we can go have a game bouncing off each other. Right then, here we go. We've uh, almost got it uh, completely finished. So uh, that is about the uh, the end of this episode here. Uh, as always, I'll be leaving a link in the description to the next episode, which will be online soon. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!